Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And uh, good evening. I can see uh, Shahid Adnan is with us on the station. We are just going to start our first lesson with easy skills dot pk we have to just wait for a couple of minutes maybe one or two because sometimes the students are not used to using technology so they have to take some time so after a few minutes we are going to start our lesson lesson number one I hope Mr. Shahid can listen to me and uh, good evening to you too, Mr. Shahid. Now I can see the students are coming online. So first of all, I welcome to all of the students who are connected with easyskills.pk and who are connected with us. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullah. So there are students, uh, I'm going to talk to them. But in the beginning, let me just first settle a few things. I'll listen to you, Fazir Rahman. Just give me a few, just a few, few minutes. That's very good. And I have now confirmed that the students can listen to me. They can hear me clearly. All right, guys, so let's begin. Our first lesson with easyskills.pk. In the demo class, maybe you attended or not, I introduced myself. I introduced the course outline of this course. I mean, what topics are we going to discuss? And uh, lastly, I discussed with you the student's policy, terms and conditions, what the students are supposed to to do that students who are conducted in which way online classes we conduct all these things we have discussed uh, I want to tell you one thing in the beginning of the lesson I'm not sure that how many of the students can understand English very well or can understand my words my sentences my talk but for this reason I'm going to use Urdu as well so I'm going to be bilingual I'll use English and Urdu as well just for the help of those who do not understand English very well so I would keep like I would use the ratio of 70 and 30. I would use 70 person English and 30 person Urdu. So here we are with our first lesson. So in the beginning of this lesson, I'm going to show you something on your screen. So here we are with our first lesson, lesson number one. First of all, we are going to have a look at the PowerPoint presentation. I hope you all can see this screen. 
So first of all, we warmly welcome with open arms to all the learners who are connected with us. And here we go. All right, guys. So first question that is very important to all of us. And then we are going to start our lesson, how to introduce ourselves. But first, we need to have a look at here, a question. Why do we need to learn English? This is a very common question. I hope you all understand this question. This means that English is important for us. Why do we need to learn English? English is important for us. Everybody has different purposes for learning English. Everybody has different purposes. Sabke apne apne maqasid hain. Maybe some of you want to go abroad. Kuch log bahir zana chate hain. Maybe some of you want to improve their academics. Or they want to improve their English skills so that they can hunt the job. Some of you want to learn English so that they can impress others. So there may be different reasons for learning English, but one of the reasons that you can see here, English can give us more opportunities in the future. If we talk about why do we need to learn English, English can give us more opportunities in the future. Because when we are going to compare two persons, one with English proficiency and one with without. So you will see the one who can speak English very well will get that opportunity. Because in future, or even in present, it is very, very important. All right, the second point, when you're going to learn English, you know, it helps. Whenever you learn languages, not particularly English, when you learn a new language, it helps you to understand the culture and it also widen your horizon. What do you mean by widen your horizon? You, in, a, in Urdu we say nukta nazar matlab aapke jo dekhne ka andal se jo soch usko bohot bada kar deta hai when you learn languages so it's very important to learn English when I talk about English it's very very easy language because some people think it's difficult but to be very honest it is very very easy for those who are interested for those who are hard working so it can be very very easy all right second you can see that how to improve english skills i'll be suggesting you i'll be supporting you i'll be helping you to improve your english skills because you have connected with us with easyskills.pk so how to improve English skills, here are just few points. The more you practice, the better you can speak. That's very true. That is very true. If you practice, practice and practice, you will see the result that you can speak English very well. It's not particularly regarding speaking. It can be reading, it can be writing, it can be listening or speaking. Any skills you can improve by practice. Next is, you can see here, read newspapers, magazines, books. If you want to improve really, really your English, you need to read. You need to give out some time for reading. Although we are connected with new technologies we have got the internet so we have a lot to read like when we use the facebook when we use the linkedin when we use different applications there are lots of things but 
we avoid we avoid such things jab hum dekhte hain facebook par koi padhne ki cheez aa rahi hai koi bada sa text aa jaye chahe wo urdu mein ho ya angrezi mein ho we hardly read it ba mushkil hum use padhte hain because it's all about reading it takes time but we should read it in order to improve our skills so we need to read a lot and third is watch movies cartoons anything you like similarly if you want to read you can read anything you like so read and improve watch and improve so here are a few tips i'll be giving you many more in conversation so this is all about english and how to improve english skills uh here we go for the next slide the most important thing is do not be afraid of making mistakes yes that's true if you want to improve your english spoken do not be afraid of making mistakes it means ke aapne darna nahi hai galtiyan karne se baaz oqat hum ruk jate hain we are hesitant because we are not good at english jab hum hame maharat nahi hoti angrezi par to hum angrezi bolne se katrate hain but do not be afraid of making mistakes no one is perfect try and learn because you all are learning so do not be afraid of making mistakes darna nahi hai angrezi bolne se if you are going to make mistakes you will learn otherwise not so enjoy making mistakes i can write here enjoy making mistakes see i also made a mistake and i corrected enjoy making mistakes when you enjoy mistakes are improved and third and the last point is mistakes are welcome mistakes are welcome when you welcome mistakes it means you are in a way in a process of learning so try to speak to speak and speak though you are making mistakes agar se aap galtiyan kar rahe hain bawajood iske aap bolte rahe hain bolenge tabhi improve hoga if you are not going to speak you cannot improve it that's that's very simple there is one quote quotation you might have heard about it or in other words you can say nice saying kisi shakhs ne kaha hai confidence comes not from always being right jo confidence hai wo hamesha sahi hone se nahi aata but not being afraid of bajaye balki आपको डर खत्म करने से आता है तो आपका जब डर खत्म हो जाएगा इट मीन यू आर कॉन्फिडेंट सो वेन एवर यू हैव समू स्पीक विद राइट नेक्स्ट लेट्स मूव फॉर द नेक्स्ट लाइव एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट आर लेसन ड्यूरिंग क्लास what are we supposed to do during class you are going to speak english when you are connected with the online session try to speak english maximum i would say maximum because i know that maybe some students are not good at english but try and do not be afraid of making mistakes so try to speak maximum in english If you do not understand, अगर आपको समझ नहीं आता always आप पूछना है आपने We are all learning. हम सब सीख रहे हैं If you do not understand anything, ask me. Ask anybody who can solve the problem. Okay? Do not be afraid to make mistakes. I want you to speak and improve. आपने डरना नहीं है गलतियां करने से और अपनी अंग्रेजी को इम्प्रूव करना है I hope you understand this. Ask as many questions as you want. जितने क्वेश्चन आप पूछना चाहें पूछ सकते हैं यू नो क्लास इन द डेमो क्लास आई सेड वन थिंग 
online learning is entirely different than face-to-face -face or on-campus learning. So here we have to follow some rules strictly. यहाँ पर हमें कुछ rules हैं जिन्हें समझना बहुत जरूरी है. सबसे पहले अगर आपके पास कोई सवाल है, if anybody has any question regarding English, regarding other things, please keep your questions with you with patience, and then you can ask when there is a time. I would allow you, definitely, I would allow you to ask your questions. But when we are going to complete our objective, because if I'm going to listen to someone now, then our time will fly, will run out. I hope you understand. Time is very important, it will be finished. I will take your questions. But you have to wait. Uh, don't keep quiet. Iska matlab hai, aapne khamush nahi rehna hai. Do not keep quiet. Always chat or talk in English. Hamesha aapne bolna hai. You need to speak. You need to talk. When you are going to talk, when you are going to speak, you will learn. Here, I want to add up one thing. Uh, you know, don't keep quiet. Here I would say you need to become CBL. अगर आप अपनी अंग्रेजी को improve करना चाह रहे हैं तो यहाँ पर आपको CBL बनने की ज़रूरत है. You need to become CBL. What does it mean? CBL means C for complete, B for बेगरत, L for लड़का या लड़की. तो आपने क्या करना है? If you want to improve your English, you need to become CBL complete बेगरत लड़का या लड़की It does not mean बेगरत in that sense बेगरत जो है उस sense में नहीं है बेगरत means you do not need to feel shy remove your shyness आपने hesitate नहीं होना आपने डरना नहीं है It means बेगरत तो यहाँ पर बेगरत होने का मकसद आपने जो आपके बोलना है आपको जो आप बोलना चाह रहे हो स्पीक राइट सो इफ यू बिकम सी बी एल कंप्लीट बेगरत लड़का या लड़की आई होप यू वॉन्ट फील शाय वंस अगेन आई से दैट कंप्लीट सी बी एल मीन्स डू नॉट फील शाय डू नॉट फील शाय इट मीन्स स्पीक स्पीक इफ यू हैव अ टाइम इफ यू हैव सम वन देन टॉक विद दैम आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस डू नॉट कीप क्वाइट uh always chat or speak in english so here we are with our topic today it was something very important that i told you wo jo buniyadi cheeze maine aapko jo batayi wo bahut zaruri thi ke angrezi jo hai hum kyun seekhna cha rahe hain aur kyun zaruri hai therefore i ask you and uh, now we are going to go for our main topic that is introduction how to introduce yourself ke aapne apne aap ko taaruf kaise karwana hai how to introduce yourself so here we are going to learn and before learning this part of introduction i have something to tell you mujhe kuch batana hai aapse hamare yahan par jo hai classes mein do session hone different parts mein For example, we will conduct one session, means one class, for the five minutes. Then we will have a short break, ten minutes break, and then you can join me in the second part. I'll send the link. I will send the link so that you can get connected with me. So there are two parts. Once again, I repeat, there are two classes sessions. One is you have to be with me with for the five minutes, and then we will have a short break, ten minutes break, and then we will have another session. I hope you understood. So here we are with our topic: how to introduce yourself. Let me just chat and talk with a few students that they have no problem with it.
there are so many voice messages I can see here. Uh, somebody asked me, please define English. Repeat the B means. I said, uh, do not keep quiet. It means you need to become CBL. CBL means C for complete. B means better in a sense. Do not feel shy. Okay? And L for Larkai Alerti. So try to remove your hesitation. Try to remove or kill your shyness. I hope you understood. And now we are going to go for our topic. Before I start this how to introduce yourself, I want students, participants who are connected with me to speak and introduce themselves. मैं चाह रहा हूँ कि वो लोग जो आज कनेक्टेड हैं ऑनलाइन सेशन में कि वो पहले अपना इंट्रोडक्शन अपना तारुफ करवाएं। You should try to speak in English and give your short, brief introduction. आप पहले अपना इंट्रोडक्शन करवाएं। I will see how do you introduce, and then we will learn about it. Okay? So I'm going to. You will not introduce in the chat box. I will unmute you. I'm going to unmute you one by one so that students who are connected can speak and introduce themselves. So first of all, uh, one thing. Please remember, do not feel shy. Once again, I say, do not feel shy. Even if you can speak a word or a sentence, speak and introduce yourself. All right, speak or introduce yourself. So I can see here, first of all, lots of students. I'm going to unmute one by one. So here we are. Uh, some of the students have changed their names. When I see that, all right, Abdul Halim. I can see one of the students, Abdul Halim. I hope you can hear me. I want Mr. Abdul Halim to introduce me. You can speak now. Hello, Abdul Halim. Waalaikum assalam, rahmatullah. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum assalam. Yes, I can hear you. I am Abdul Halim. I'm from Sarparkar. Yes. Where are you Abdul from? Halim. I'm from Sarparkar, rural hmm. Sindh. Okay. And I, I complete my matriculation from Sindh Public School, Umarkot, and intermediate from Kainat Public School, Umarkot. Nowadays, I am studying at Benazir Bhutto Shahid University, Bihar, Karachi, in English Department, Linguistic and Literature. Very good. Very impressive. That's it. Yes. All right. That's very good. Very nice. I like it. Thank you very much, Abdul Halim. I'm going to unmute you now. So that other students can uh, introduce. I can see Ferdin, Mr. Ferdin. I have unmuted you, so you can try and speak. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikumsalam, Allah. 
your dreams. My name is Fardeen from I am from Hyderabad, Sindh, and now I am studying at uh, Miran University in BS Software Engineering. Very good. Very good. That's it. Thank you, sir. All right. Very nice. Good job. So, Mr. Fardeen, I have unmuted you as well. That's very good. I can see that some of the students are introducing with confidence. That's that's really impressive, brilliant. I can see Afsha, Miss Afsha. I have unmute Miss Afsha. Walaikum salam. Speak. That's right. My name is Afsha from Sadhgarh. Complete my BA examination. Yes, very good. You are doing your BA from? Ikra College. From Ikra College. All right. Now I want to take admission in MA English. Very good. You want to take admission in MA English. That's it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Afsha. All right, so what I observe here that many of the students here are uh, well qualified. I must say well qualified because they are studying in education. They are getting their education in university. So that's, that's really impressive. I like it. Now I'm going to see some other students. I can see Shahid Adnan, the one who came first first online in the class I mean he was the first person I saw him uh, Shahid Adnan please Assalamu alaikum sir Wa alaikum as -salam. I am Shahid Adnan I am Shahid Adnan and I am from Quad I am a professional engineering student at a, uh, in a university uh, Sikos University Peshawar very good That's it. Is it all? All right, Mr. Shahid Adnan, thank you very much for introducing yourself. Uh, when you finish your introduction, your talk, please say that's it, thank you, or words like that, so that I, I know that you're done. I can see Usama Tariq. Usama Tariq, I'm going to unmute Usama Tariq. Assalamualaikum, sir. Waalaikum assalam. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. My name is Usama. My name is Usama Tariq, and I live in Sahiwal, and I studied at BA Psychology in Virtual University of Pakistan. Very good. Very good. That's it. That's it. All right. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. All of the students who are introducing. I can see Mohan. Uh, Mohan can introduce now. I'm going to unmute. Uh, basically, basically, it's me. A bit louder, please. Basically, sir, my Moiz Bhattar. All right, sir, Moiz. All right, all right, all right. I can see here one uh, without name Galaxy. The one A20. I, I'm gonna unmute that person. I don't know his name. Please uh, make your name clear so that I can call. Um, my name is Aisha Galaxy A20. Yes. All right. Okay. Assalamualaikum. My name is Aisha. Uh, I did um, a master's and ICS from government school and college, and then I completed BCom from Sir Goda University. 
and uh, I have completed master's degree in business economics from Virtual University. And uh, now I'm doing job in, as a teacher in Army Public School. Great, great. Is it all? All right, Ms. Aisha, thank you very much for introducing yourself. And it was really nice to hear that, mashallah, you are well qualified and you are a teacher. You are teaching at a place, Army Public School. It's, it's really nice to hear that. Thank you. Saba? Uh, Ms. Saba, uh, can you introduce please? Uh, guys, I want to tell you one thing here. Hello. Saba. Just a minute, please. Hello. Just a minute. Assalamu alaikum, sir. A bit louder. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Yes. Assalam. Uh, my name is Saba. I have. Been uh, my name is Saba. I have completed my master's degree from Punjab University Lahore. Yes, very good. Anything else? Nothing, sir. That's it. All right, Ms. Saba, thank you. Thank you very much. So here I can see that there are still, mashallah, students who are introducing. Nicely. All right, so I can see now Yafan, I'm gonna unmute Mr. Ayat. Please introduce yourself. I hope you can hear me. Can I hear Mr. Hayat Khan? Yes, please, speak, speak, speak now. Yes, I can hear now. Speak, please. Okay. My name is Hayat Khan. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Yeah, yeah. Hayat Khan. Thank you. Very nice listening to all of you. Uh, now I, I'm going to unmute one of 
more student because this is the first class and I need to know how well can you speak. And then I'm going to conduct the class in sessions easily. Once I know that students have no problems with understanding me and the level of proficiency. So today we will see how to introduce yourself plus we will see what are the formal ways and informal ways when you introduce. In other words, you will see that which sentences and phrases are formal and which phrases are informal. Formal and informal. I'll let you know very soon. I will you very soon what is a formal and what is informal. So let's continue. I hope the students can hear me clearly. So guys, here we are. How to introduce yourself. This is not a rocket science, believe me, it's very simple. And when I listen to you, when I listen your introduction, you all did a great job. You should appreciate yourself, you all did a great job. But there are few things you should edit, you should polish. When, whenever we introduce to anyone, there are few things we need to tell them. There are few th things we need to tell them. As I listen to you, you all are doing masters, graduations, maybe some of them are in just metric or intermediate, it doesn't matter. But whenever you open your mouth, whenever you open your mouth to introduce yourself to others, here are a few things you must use, you must introduce. And before that, remember, there are different types of introduction. When you introduce yourself to someone in a party, you introduce differently. When you introduce yourself in a class, you introduce differently. When you introduce yourself in a meeting, or in a professional place, you introduce differently. Here is the general way. Here is a way that can be used for multiple reasons, for multiple places. So here we have few things like you used, said, my name, hmm, you can say your name. But remember one thing, when you introduce yourself, you need to say your word, say your name very, very clearly. Very slow and clearly. Let's suppose I introduce myself. I would say, well, my name's Hafiz Muhammad Waqas. So what I say, I say it, my name very slowly so that a person can listen to you properly. He should not ask him to repeat, please. Aap jab peli hi mertaba mein achhi tarhaan se apna naam ko pronounce karenge clearly, loudly, that would be ideal. Okay, that's the good way. So you can also use fraction form. When you introduce yourself, it would give a good impression. When you use contraction form, short form, like you can see here, my name is. So instead of my name is, you can say my names. My names Hafiz Muhammad Vakas. Or you can say I'm Hafiz Muhammad Vakas. I'm my names. So try to use short form. Short forms are used when we speak. In spoken, we use short form. In written, we use low form. So remember this point. I hope you understood short form and long form. Short form and long form. So when you speak, you use short form. My name's hmm. Second thing, 
you can tell about your education. What have you done? What have you completed? I have completed masters. I have completed my graduation. I have completed matriculation. Anything, any any education you are done, you can say. I have completed. But remember, this is for the ones who have completed. Let's suppose you are in intermediate in part two. So you would say differently. You would say, I am learning or I am studying in part two. I am learning. I am a student of part two. So this sentence can be different. And this can be different. Here you can see it is in present perfect. You will learn tenses soon. So this is in present perfect. Action has completed. Is a kam jo aap kar chuke hain wo bata rahe. So if you are done, then you would say I have completed my metric. I have completed my graduation, my master, anything. But if it is in process, you could say. I am completing thing. I am doing become part two. I'm doing become part two, become part one. Next, what do you do. What's your job? Number four. What's your job? I am engineer. I am teacher. You can see here a or n. So this is particularly used with a noun our and are used with a noun but remember articles have their usage we will learn in coming classes how to use articles here you would use your profession how to what do you do i am a student but when you're introducing you need to use short form whenever you introduce yourself Remember, first impression can be or may be the last impression. So try to impress with your first introduction. When you open your mouth, try to speak English excellently. So you would say, I'm a teacher, I'm an English teacher, I'm an engineer, I'm a doctor, I'm a student. I'm a student. If you're not doing any job, what's your job? I am a student. I'm a student. This is also a job. I am short form. I'm, I'm a student. This is the long form and this is the short form. I'm, I'm a student. I'm a teacher. So try to use short form. What when you speak? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Karachi. I'm from Balochistan. I'm from Peshawar. Where are you from? You can tell. Where are you from? Then you can speak. I'm from short form. And next thing is where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Nazimabad. I live in Southern Town. I live in New Karachi. Any place you live, you say, I live in. Or you can also use another word instead of live, reside. R E S I D E, reside. I can put it here in the bracket. Where do you reside? It means live. Reside. I live in. Hmm. Next thing you can tell about your marital status, whether you are single, you are married, or divorced. You can tell your marital status. I'm single, I'm married, I'm divorced. But remember, you need to use action form, short form. Short form, not long form. Long form is used in written. And next thing we have is hobby. In what do you like doing in free time? Aap kya pasand karte hain apne farig vakt mein karna? I like reading books and watching movies. Hobby means 
What do you like doing in free time? Mashgala. Aap free vak. Free. When you are free, what do you like doing? Aapko kya karna pasand hai? Different people have different hobbies. And you can tell more than one if you like to. I like using mobile, watching watching films and so on. So try to speak more than one. Uh, so this, these are the common things. This is for general introduction. We tell these things. First of all, your name with contraction form. Well, my names hmm, of completed. I have short form is I uh, completed. I can I've completed my master. I've completed my B. Honors. I've completed my diploma and certificate. You have short form. Um, uh, Mr. Halim, I will listen to you, Abdul Halim. Just wait. So when you introduce, you need to use short form. Secondly, you need to say your name clearly. And thirdly, you would mention these points. Like not many more, not too less. Bahut zyada bhi nahi batana hai aapne introduction mein aur bahut kam bhi nahi batana hai. Approx five points, six points are more than enough. Five to six points. You can see here these points. So first of all, you will tell your complete name. You will tell your complete name. Next, you will give your education details if you have. Next is the job, your work. Next is the place where you live, your address. And last but not least, that is your marital status. Marital status means आपने बताना है कि आप शादीशुदा हैं नहीं हैं आपके स्टेटस क्या है वट्स योर मेरिटल स्टेटस लाइक मी आई एम मैरिड सो आई वुड से आई मैरिड आई बिन मैरिड सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन आई होप नेक्स्ट टाइम वेन यू आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ यू विल यूज दीज मेन पॉइंट एंड यू विल इंट्रोड्यूस नाइसली इट इज वेरी सिंपल वेरी इजी practice then you are going to practice these introduction points and then you introduce you will see the huge difference jab aap in ten points ki practice karenge aur iske baad aap phir apna introduction denge you will see the difference once again i repeat you will tell your name slowly and clearly secondly you will use the short form because when native speakers of english introduce themselves they use contraction form short forms not long form when they speak they speak very fast because they use contraction form therefore it seems difficult english is not difficult when they speak they use short form so try to use short form if you really want to speak like natives native of english so i hope your introductions gonna be amazing next time and uh, i hope i can listen to everyone those who introduce or not they can mention me in the chat box those who did not introduce they can mention me in the in the chat box that they didn't have a chance to introduce so that i can also ask them to introduce anyone who is left who did not introduce can check me in the chat box so i would allow him or her to introduce again to introduce now i hope you all are noting down these points as well that's a very important thing i must tell you in the first lesson please maintain your register a diary or anything you can arrange or manage you must write because english is not only all about speaking it's also about writing reading listening once you are good at these four skills listening speaking reading and writing 
then you can say that I am proficient. Otherwise not. You're not good at English. Speaking is not only all about that you can say I know English. You should learn listening, reading and writing as well. So the best thing is to note down, make your points and please, once again I say, make your register. Because I feel that you students are going to be very serious. So once you are serious, take the full advantage of the time. Okay, so maintain your register. Keep a pen or pencil with you so that you can note down the things which are important in the introduction. There are a few points only you can tell. And this is all about it. Now we have simple questions which are asked in the interview like you can answer these questions in your introduction what's your name short form what's what's your name what do you do what do you do means aap kya karte hain what do you do means aap kya karte hain what's your job both are same what do you do and what's your job next is uh where are you from where are you from where are you from? This question is usually when you are traveling from one country to another, one city to another. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Gilgit. I'm from Peshawar. I'm from anything Islamabad. So when you travel from one city to another, there it is necessary to answer this question. Where do you live? I live in, you can tell a specific point, a specific area, town. Where do you live? I live in New Karachi. Where do you live? I live in anything, any place. What's your marital status? Are you married, single or not? You can answer this question. What are your hobbies? When you are free, what do you like doing? So this is all about introduction. I hope you all are going to follow the pattern when you are going to introduce yourself next time. This is very simple. If anyone who wants to know down, I can just read that. You can write these sentences whether or you can just write these important points. It's up to you. Please note down anyone who wants to write down. Please go ahead. After one minute, we are going to do uh, another thing, another exercise. We will also watch a video here. And at the end, I will give you a home task. I will give you a home task so that you can do and practice. Whenever there is a home task, please try to complete to take improvement. So I hope you all have understood how to introduce there are a few points. First, you will tell your complete name very clearly and loud. Second point is education. What have you done? What have you completed? What are you doing? You can tell your, about your education. Third, it's all about job, work. The fourth point is address your place. Where do you live? And fifth one is your marital status not your age particularly how old are you you can tell your marital status i'm single i'm married or anything okay uh, helene hello sir i have a question yes please My question is that 
my introduction i will start from i am abdul halim yes this is the wrong or right yes, sorry come again. again come again please my introduction i start from i am abdul halim that's very good this that's is very the good right or wrong that's correct in, that's correct in formal way yes i am going to just um all right uh, guys as i told you that whenever you introduce yourself it is not only one that <coughs> or fixed way that you can use you can use different kinds of sentences as well but when you say instead of my name you say i am i am i am i am waqas i am abdul halim this is also very very correct this is also formal when you say formal formally okay sometimes when you watch tv television or any show they use this is when you say this is vakas instead of i'm vakas instead of my name's vakas then that's different that comes in informal way okay but the way you have said i'm that is correct and that is also formal so guys there are variations when we speak we cannot say one particular way is correct or one particular way is incorrect there may be variations okay but there are few sentences that we can use i hope you have understood an answer got the answer of your question um there were two questions where are you from and uh, where do you live i told you the first question where are you from is usually answered or asked when you travel from one city to another city or from one country to another so it's not very necessary where are you from i'm from karachi it's not necessary but when you travel from one city to another city you you can you can ask or even even tell the other person that i'm from karachi i live in north nazimabad okay i hope you understood the difference between where are you from and where do you live where do you live you particularly tell the hometown sorry the town where you live the area where you live where do you live I live in Nazimabad. Where do you live? I live in North Nazimabad. I live in buffer zone. Any place you live, you particularly mention your area. And where are you from? Aap kahan se hain? There you mention the city you're from. Aap kaun se shehar se hain? I'm I'm from Karachi, Pakistan. I hope you got the answer. and uh, at, at the end i would give you the home task but before i'm going to show you a short video please watch it very very carefully and uh, i can also send you the link if anybody needs about the videos just watch this video try to understand and i'll take your questions at the end jo bhi sawalat hain aapke wo sawalat ko main aakhir mein lunga pehle hum apne time ko kaise system par kar lete hain let's watch a video I hope you all can listen and hear me. So here you go for watching a short video about these introductions. This is very simple when you are going to use it. moment please My name is Amanda. This is my husband. His name is Art, 
and he is from the Boston area and he has two younger sisters and one younger brother. One of his younger sisters, Rita, has a daughter named Maggie and she is very, very cute. I'm Mike, this is my friend Lindsay. We know each other from high school and she's from Canada. I'm Cedric. This is Tabitha. She is from Illinois. She's 18 years old. She is very nice and athletic. I'm Robert and this is Will. We are friends. We work in an office together. He is from Chicago and he is a very artistic person. Oh, and he also loves baseball. I'm going to play it again once more, just for one minute. My name is Amanda. This is my husband. His name is Art, and he is from the Boston area. And he has two younger sisters and one younger brother. One of his younger sisters, Rita, has a daughter named Maggie, and she is very, very cute. I'm Mike. This is my friend Lindsay. We know each other from high school, and she's from Canada. I'm Cedric. This is Tabitha. She is from Illinois. She's 18 years old. She is very nice and athletic. I'm Robert. This is Will. We are friends. We work in an office together. He is from Chicago, and he is a very artistic person. Oh, and he also loves baseball. Alright guys, I hope you have understood this short video and uh, you have also listened their conversation. It was a very short introduction. You found different, different speakers using or introducing differently. Uh, I told you there is not only one fixed firm way to introduce yourself, but remember the, the things, the place, when you are going to introduce yourself. I told you a few important points, five points, where you can mention your name completely, you can mention about your education, you can talk about the place you live and the job you have, and also your marital status. There are different ways, but this is one of the general and common ways. Here, you have one more short video but this video is not shorter than the first one this video is about four minutes or approximately five minutes ye jo ab main video play karne wala hu wo taqreeban 4 se 5 minute ki video hai so try to watch it you will understand more and more okay and uh, after watching this video you will understand many many things but before i would like to share one of the documents with you i'm going to share with you here a document where you will see what are the formal ways and what are the informal ways so i hope you'll be able to find it from the chat box share with you here Just a moment. So when I'm going to share a file with you, one document, there you will see uh, lots of different phrases and sentences. There are many phrases there are many phrases that you can use when you are greeting. When you get someone, you can use that time. Greeting means when you meet and the words you say like good afternoon, good morning, good evening. Hello, hi, this 
kind of sentences are there. And uh, what is the task? The task is you will see first of all on my screen and then I'm going to share with you. Uh, here we are. You need to identify which way is formal and which way is informal. आपको ये देखना है कि कौन सा तरीका जो है वो फॉर्मल है और कौन सा इनफॉर्मल है इफ यू थिंक द फर्स्ट वन इज ग्रीटिंग विद फॉर्म्स और इंट्रोडक्शन सो देयर आर फ्यू फ्रेजेस रिगार्डिंग ग्रीटिंग जवाब हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून रिस्पोंसेस जब आप जवाब देते हैं इंट्रोडक्शन जब आप कार्य करते हैं इनमें से आपको बताना है कि कौन सा फॉर्मल है और कौन सा इनफॉर्मल है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज फॉर्मल एंड व्हाट इज इनफॉर्मल फॉर्मल इज बेसिकली वन ऑफ द स्टाइल्स ये एक स्टाइल है एस टी वाई एल ई स्टाइल इट्स वन ऑफ द वे व्हेन यू टॉक विद एल्डर्स व्हेन यू टॉक विद रिस्पेक्टेड पीपल यू यूज फॉर्मल वे जब आप सर से बात करते हैं जब आप अपने टीचर से बात करते हैं जब आप उन लोगों से बात करते हैं जो जिन्हें आप बहुत ज्यादा इज्जत देना चाहते हैं उस वक्त आप आप जनाब से जो बात करते हैं जिस तरह से इसी तरह से ये इंग्लिश में फॉर्मल कहलाता है इट इज वन ऑफ द स्टाइल ऑन दी अदर हैंड देर इज इनफॉर्मल इनफॉर्मल इट्स ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द स्टाइल वेन यू ग्रीट जब आप किसी से मुलाकात करते हैं आप फॉर्मली भी कर सकते हैं अनफॉर्मल भी कर सकते हैं जब आप अपने फ्रेंड्स से मिलते हैं वेन यू सी और मीट योर फ्रेंड्स वेन यू मीट विद योर फैमिली मेम्बर्स लाइक कजन्स वी यूजली यूज इन फॉर्मल वे हम इन फॉर्मल वे का इस्तेमाल करते हैं जब हम अपने दोस्तों से मिलते हैं और या फिर जब हम अपने कजन से मिलते हैं so there are two ways formal and informal i hope you have understood i repeat formal jab aap janab se baat karte hain jab aap respect karte hain bahut zyada logo ki you use the formal way on the other hand is informal so you have to mark you have to mark whether this is this sentence is formal or informal hey john what's up hey john what's up So what's up is also like how are you when you say how are you how are you doing how have you been how how is everything so this is one of the way what's up so this is formal or informal you have to mark here if you think this is formal you can mark here if you think this is informal you can mark here so there are number of sentences good morning mr smith how was your weekend You need to identify whether this sentence is formal or informal. You can mark here, or you can mark here. So there are lots of sentences. Read them. This is going to be your task. Share these documents with you, and I will also let you know the answers. So this is going to be your task. You need to mark whether this sentence is formal or informal. I will let you know once you are done. जब आप अपनी तरफ से ये कर लेंगे काम फिर मैं आपको बताऊंगा कि कौन सा तरीका जो है वो फॉर्मल था और कौन सा इनफॉर्मल था फर्स्ट यू शुड डू इट आपने कोशिश करनी है इस एक्सरसाइज को खुद से करने की आई होप यू विल डू दिस एक्सरसाइज वेरी सिंसियरली एंड विद ऑल ऑफ योर हार्ट ओके there are simple sentences but you have to just find the right the right the formal and the informal i hope you have understood this soon you will receive the file and in the end i will give you the answer once you are done okay uh as i told you i'm going to show you one of the videos here So here we are going to watch a video. Uh, 
uh, guys here I have one thing to say please uh, if you have anything to say any suggestion any feedback from your side regarding the class regarding the teacher you can share please appreciate So here we are going to just watch a video, short video. It's going to be very, very interesting to us being promoted. You will receive this task very soon. I will send you this task. Just watch this video, please. Watch the task here. And uh, during watching this video, if times over, if times over, it happens sometimes we exceed the time limitation of the class. If it happens, then we will see you next time. Okay. Otherwise, during this video, if the class time is over, I'll send you the link of this video or I will send you the video in the group. I can do either I will send you the link or send you the video so that you can watch this video and you can work on your English skills. So when I see here the time duration is approximately one minute now. So I think I should send you this video uh, link and you can watch it. Remember, I'm going to ask you, once you are going to watch anything, once you are going to do any home task, I will ask you questions regarding it. 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 So please try to watch this video very carefully. Soon you will receive the link of that video and also the document. So they are going to be your home task. You have two home tasks. I repeat, one is video watching and second is this document, like where you will classify its formal or informal. I hope you have understood. You can receive this uh, material whether here on the zoom platform or in a group so please be attentive